Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. A teen is shot and killed during a drug deal. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Lena Bleets. Still ahead on 7 at 7, a big change in the construction for this year's Las Vegas Grand Prix. How race officials say it'll help local businesses who were affected last year. Plus, a man is arrested for two local robberies, and police say an iPad was the main form of communication between him and the bank tellers. And the Las Vegas sign has gone purple for a cause that affects many. Details on how the change will bring awareness to a specific disease. Also, a famous opera hits a high note as it celebrates its 25th anniversary in Vegas. Find out where and when to catch this classic in just a few minutes. We begin with business, a big change to the Formula One Grand Prix construction. Race officials have announced the temporary Flamingo Road Bridge over Koval Lane will be reduced to two lanes for this year's race to lessen its impact on area businesses. Last year's inaugural F1 race saw a four-lane bridge on Flamingo, leaving just one surface lane in each direction. Several business owners claimed the decreased access to their properties resulted in millions of dollars in lost revenue. The new temporary bridge will be installed on the south side of Flamingo, leaving all westbound traffic at grade level on Flamingo. Reducing the vehicle bridge and moving the pedestrian bridge from the south side to the north are moves aimed to increase access to those affected businesses, according to race officials. This year's bridge is scheduled to be installed in mid-October. Now for your top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A 15-year-old boy is dead after being shot Wednesday night. Las Vegas Metro Police say the shooting is related to an apparent drug deal in the 3900 block of North Nellis Boulevard. Metro says the unidentified teenager arrived in a car to buy drugs when armed people fired at the vehicle. The shooting was reported around 8.40 p.m. Wednesday night, and about 40 minutes later, police say the teen walked into North Vista Hospital bleeding from a gunshot wound and died shortly after. Police say a man used an iPad as his stick-up note at two banks last month in the South Central Las Vegas Valley. Court records show 53-year-old Donald Malone is facing two charges each of robbery and burglary of a business and a charge of attempted robbery. On May 29th, police say Malone matched the description of a man who pulled out an iPad with a note to the teller at a local Wells Fargo, but he didn't receive any money thanks to the teller alerting co-workers. The next day, the same incident happened at the U.S. Bank branch inside a Smith's grocery store and the man got away with almost $950. Police picked up Malone at a hotel about five miles from the Smith's. He remains in custody on a $50,000 bail and is scheduled for a preliminary hearing on June 20th. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your gardens partner for every bloomin' thing. We remain in an excessive heat warning until Saturday at 9 p.m. and coming off yesterday's record-setting heat, get ready for another hot day ahead. Looking at a predicted high of 109 today and 108 on Saturday, dropping off a little down to 103 Sunday and Monday, then highs climbing back up to the mid to upper 100s the rest of next week, but things should cool off at night with a low of 83 tonight, then remaining in the high 70s and low 80s throughout next week. Sports brought to you by PT's Taverns. With over 65 locations, there's a PT's near you. Visit PTsTaverns.com. Tiffany Hayes had her debut for the Las Vegas Aces on Wednesday night, but what does that mean for rookie Kate Martin? Callie Lawson Freeman has more. While Hayes was first off the bench Wednesday night against the Wings, I don't think that that's going to present a problem for Kate Martin because she was second off the bench. And before the game, Becky Hammond told reporters that Jackie Young was not feeling well. And if she couldn't play, Kate Martin was going to get the start. I think that just showcases how much trust she has in the young rookie guard. And that shouldn't change anytime soon. In your health news, the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign is now purple for Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month. 
Clark County Commissioners and those with the Alzheimer's Association officially flipped the switch to turn the Vegas sign's yellow lights to purple. They hope it helps educate the community about Alzheimer's and increase efforts to combat the disease's human and economic costs. Nevada has almost 55,000 residents living with Alzheimer's, including more than 39,000 right here in Clark County. The brain disease has no known cause, cure, or prevention. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Belmont Stakes, the final leg of horses racing Triple Crown, is Saturday in New York. The 10-horse field is led by Sierra Leone, who is the 2-1 to -one favorite at Circus Sportsbook. Mindframe is the plus 375 second choice, followed by the Kentucky Derby winner Mystic Dan, plus 640. Antiquarian is next at 9-1, to -one, and Preakness Stakes winner Seize the Gray is plus 950. Resilience is 10-1, to -one, with Honor Marie at plus 1070. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Ricky Manning Jr. led the Carolina Panthers to a Super Bowl almost 20 years ago when he picked off Donovan McNabb three times in the NFC title game. He spoke on how that moment now guides him as the Raiders cornerbacks coach. As a player, I thought that that's what I was destined for, to pick off Donovan McNabb three times in the NFC championship. That was my destiny. But really what it was for was this moment right now, all right, for me to have the way to be able to talk about big time situations and big games and showing up big in it and, and not just talking it, but living it helps, helps with that message. In your lifestyle news, the city of Henderson is hosting its family golf night later this month. The event will feature various golf events, giveaways, food, and much more. Wild Horse Golf Club is hosting the event on Saturday, June 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. Admission is $10 and includes access to the driving range, putting green, bounce house, and some swag like a light-up souvenir ball, frisbee, and water bottle. For more details, visit cityofhenderson.com. Now for entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to arizonacharlie's.com to see who's playing. A famous opera celebrates its 25th anniversary in Vegas. Last year's performance of Giuseppe Verdi's classic La Traviata was the opera's first sellout in its history. The opera seeks another sellout as it presents Giacomo Puccini's classic La Boheme this weekend. The performance takes place at UNLV's Judy Bailey Theater. You can find tickets at operalasvegas.com. Thanks for watching 7 at 7 this morning. You can watch breaking news live anytime on any of the platforms listed on your screen. Just search Review Journal and be sure to subscribe. We'll be back tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.